So, started off my Diablo adventure with the Sorceress. And we're running through, and I started the Arclash build. Um, the one thing I noticed in Arclash was it was just too dependent on... Uh, it doesn't use mana, but it was really dependent on using your ultimate, which in this case is going to be Unstable Currents. Now, using Unstable Currents has a 70 second cooldown, but as you can see, you know, it gives you a lot more DPS. Uh, the build is mobile. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of survivability. It's kind of tanky. Doesn't need mana. And pretty good against single targets. But we swapped up over to the Ice Shard build. Right, so moving on to the Ice Shard build immediately. We're going to start seeing the effects of the enchantments. So fireball is an enchantment. It's not really a skill, but we have ice shards. We have Hydra. Hydra is going to be on pretty much to do single target. We have frost nova. It's going to help us freeze and crowd control. We have teleport, which is going to help us get away, but also adds a little bit of invulnerability when we land. We have ice armor. We're gonna have to keep that up as we mentioned and flame shield is kind of like our get out of jail free card so let's go ahead and start taking a look at the skills inside of this build so if we go here to assignments we can see what we have turned on some of these are by skills and some of these are by having them on just by default now you need to have uh, our clash on um, just for part of the build to get you a point into here so we won't go through the tree but let's look at fireball so fireball has the enchantment effect basically we're not going to use fireball we're going to use the enchantment so whenever you kill an enemy they're going to explode and you'll be able to see that off and on throughout the gameplay for 50% of its damage and so its damage is 258 currently so we're doing roughly half of that every single time and that affects each enemy that explodes. Now, Ice Shards has a couple different effects going on here. So Ice Shards have a 40% chance to ricochet. They, tr they always ricochet off of frozen enemies and Ice Shards automatically conjure and fly towards frozen enemies. So while you have a barrier active, cast of Ice Shards treats enemies as if they were frozen. That's how we proc these other two modifiers to actually happen so we're dealing 25 percent increased damage to frozen enemies we're always flying towards them before we and we're going to ricochet and while we have a barrier active we're going to treat enemies as if they were frozen now our main skills are listed on here as we just went over but we have flame shield it is more of a break glass just in case uh, you need a last minute uh, survivability uh, you're basically immune and uh, when you have the flame shield on this is something we want to cast uh, pretty much every time we get a big mob or if you need to get somebody to be treated as if they're frozen. Um, basically cast Frost Nova, it's our crowd control and it's a great skill to have on the bar. And Ice Armor is going to be really important because we want to keep this on us at all times. While we're active, our mana regeneration is higher. So we want to make sure we keep that up because the Ice Shard build is a mana hungry build. And then we have teleport. This is for survivability, but also um, part of our uh, part of our build is uh, we want to activate a cooldown so we can get some more mana coming back into the pool. And so we're basically spamming any skill that we can that has a cooldown and using that at all times. Now we have a couple other skills that we are using. So Hydra is one of those. Hydra is going to be for some single target. Um, Damage, it doesn't really take down groups, but we want to use this to basically augment our damage while we're running about and regenerating mana if needed. All right, that's going to wrap up the video. So that was just a quick uh, demonstration of the Ice Shard build. Um, swamped over from the Arc Lash, you can see in the beginning, we weren't really getting a ton of DPS on that build. So we'll uh, keep continuing with the Ice Shard build, look for some uniques, try to increase our world tier and progress in the game. But right now, world tier two feels pretty good. So if you have any questions about it, the link will be in the description of the video and you can always hit me up in the comments uh, if you want to know anything about this, about it but mainly just using max roll it's a pretty good place to start for any build 
and uh, you can run it from there. So we'll see you next time on the channel. Thanks for stopping in.